Well, it is cold around Australia, but as uh, the temperatures lower, it's just starting to heat up here as we head into the Meta HSC Week 7. I'm Gex, and with me, as always, is the lovely Chris, the average. Here you go, man. I'm um, cold as well. Uh, should... <laughs> it's... I think it barely broke 10 degrees today in Sydney, so they've been rugged up in front of the heater all day. And well, time now to do some glorious uh, casting on a... Well, let's face it, a somewhat dreary Thursday afternoon. Yeah, I can't imagine stuff is much better for the Victoria-Tasmanian area, but that's where we're heading to now. Our first two teams coming up as Over Newton Anglican Community College, uh, or OACC, versus the Yarra Valley Grammar Boys. So it's going to be a good matchup here for the Vic-Taz area. Yeah, OACC, one of the uh, four teams at Murren with five wins to their name, so they'll be looking to try and move to six and join the uh, YVG Spuds, who is one of the uh, brother teams for Yarra Valley Grammar. Uh, it's going to be an interesting game here today, though, because, uh, well, for this Yarra Valley squad, it's going to be, well, Yarra Valley Cracked Egg, that is, uh, it's going to be pretty much starting to get do or die for him here. They're looking like they're at four and two at the moment, so... They need a win to keep their playoff hopes alive. If they don't, they might just be taken away from today as we get this best of three underway. Well, let's see who's going to win it. Will it be Yarra Valley or will it be OACC? Uh, and like you were talking about with the Over Newton guys there, they do have a higher win rate, so it might be a little bit of a difficult matchup here for the Yarra Valley boys, but... Hopefully they can make it through here. A good little dribble trying to get that center from Mark. He does get it to Arena, and that's going to be the first goal put away. Yeah, nice control there from Arena to follow it up from Marky, who pretty much shut up the play there with that demo. And I'm pretty sure that blocked off Mars 22 as well. So, yeah, nice setup there for Yao Vary. I say we'll take that early lead. Yeah, and that's the kind of confidence they need going into this one, with it meaning so much to them right now. Arena can't get the touch, though, as Marky will follow it off to the side. Small touch, just trying to keep it safe. We'll actually pass it centre. It might be an own goal. Ooh. That's not what you want to see out of the gates. Yeah, very, very unfortunate stuff there. We get to the replay, and, well, they're just trying to clear it out, but all the touches just didn't work out from there. Arena missed times his jump to try and save from his own teammate, and... Yeah, that was just a bit of a, um, a line of, up of errors there, and uh, it's led to a very quick equaliser. Yeah, I mean, uh, it wasn't the worst idea for a pass in for clearing there, but, uh, you know, no, no, uh, nobody approaching goal to put that pressure on. It was the opportunity that they, you would look for for that kind of play. However, just a little bit of miscommunication as Arena ended up on that back wall. And now, again, they're in the same kind of situation. And Marky's going to take yet another own goal. This is devastating for the uh, Valley Grammar guys. Yeah, it was being set up though for a play. But Marky, yeah, Wade would touch the at very least. Just sends it into his own net. And, well, Yarra Valley, they've had, they had a nice one or two lead early on. But as we get past the opening minute mark, mm. it's now going to be a free and one lead as well. They go for a fake out in the kickoff, and it's just absolutely bombed. And all of that confidence that they earned off of that first good goal is just going to be erased by this. This is an absolutely brutal way to lose out on the advantage you had. Now, I mean, there is only still a two-goal gap here, and that's a dangerous spot for a lot of the teams. That's where you see the overconfidence come in a lot of the time, but with big mistakes like this coming out consistently from the Yarra Valley School, it's going to be another goal put away there, and the goal gap will increase to three. Yeah, this is a difference between, well, a team that's currently tied second and a team fighting for, or fighting really for the last chance of playoffs here. Yeah, Valley have really not put much of a foot wrong here while, oh well, sorry, Over Newton haven't put a foot wrong while Yarra Valley, well, yeah, they just keep fighting errors, unfortunately, and, well, yeah, they have that confidence early, but they've effectively allowed the team with the better record at the moment, a massive advantage here at game one. Might have increased there, but Major has just made it back in time for that save to tonight a fifth for the moment. But yeah, this has just been okay. really, really unfortunate stuff as uh, Blitz just sends it back, but uh, that's going to be another own goal and that's going to push out the gap to four. 
It's actually starting to feel intentional now. I mean, it, this is devastating stuff. I'm not sure if Arena actually had any boost to get away from the ball there, but uh, that's more goals scored by the um, the own team than by the opponents now. That's a devastating stat to have, but it's actually a stat for the sides that we weren't expecting because the teams have joined the wrong sides. I have to apologize. It's actually going to be uh, the uh, Over Newton Anglican Community College is the orange team. They're the ones absolutely getting dismantled here, but they do fire one back here as Marky gets a great play there past Mask. Yeah, they get the goal and well, well, that just makes things more, well, a lot more interesting. Are they, are they Arrow Valley actually trying to, uh, I'm actually just, I'm just confused now. This, mm. this is just so odd, uh, but, uh, goals are now starting to come out slowly but surely for OACC. They nearly got a third there, but will be denied by the crossbar. Uh, I don't, maybe they were just setting themselves up a challenge, but... If they're doing that, it's not really a sportsman-like, is it? But uh, I suppose we'll find out what was the case anyhow. It's a free goal difference here at the halfway point of this first game. Over Newton looking to try and come back after an absolutely disastrous start. And well, let's see if Yarra Valley can actually hold on to this lead as there's an opportunity Ooh. there, but well saved by the defender. Just punts out the ball. Vast might be able to follow through for a goal. He's just slightly off target. It's up to Salmon Boy, but Major just able to get there in time. And now the counter attack from ACC will appear once again here. Major can't get a clean 50. Ball still in the center of the field, but Blitz eventually clears it out. Well, not sure what happened to Over Noon in the first few minutes, but uh, it might just cost him at the end here, unless they get a few goals oh. quickly. And well, Major, a nice touch there to send it on in. Br brings the gap down to two. Madiger just absolutely placing that perfectly there. That top left side of the goal. And uh, just threading the needle to make that one work. And now, yeah, that, that two goal gap, that dangerous lead comes back now. Marky almost finds the top left corner again, but Will set it up for Madiger as Madiger sends it home. Yeah, I think Over Newton was just setting up the, themselves a challenge, really. I uh, mm. mean, they're performing out of their minds now. And, well, Yarra Valley, they can't really do anything about it. So, yeah, I mean, I suppose if you want to be best into the game, if you are the team that is looking more unlikely to be in playoffs, I suppose you can do it, but isn't really a sportsman like, is it? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was starting to look intentional a while ago, and... Um, uh, you, you kind of don't want to assume that somebody's doing something like that, so I was looking for opportunities to say that it was accidents, as, as bad as that is too, but it does look like it has been intentional as they even this game up now, and uh, it's been Mateja coming up now with three goals for the team, one to Marky and one to Arena, so across the board, goals on targets. Mateja touches that back, Marky will get a nice 50 on that, but the team does seem to outclass the blue side on the um, on the uh, side of mechanics at the very least. Yeah, indeed, and well, it's pushing them a long way here as we get close to the final minute. Uh, they're just caught in their own back line for the moment, but they will eventually clear out. Marky has a bit of a run going here, but Blitz will eventually come through. Arena sets it up for the other side of the field. Major now comes through. We'll get bumped off the play here. 40 seconds an hour remain. Blitz, he's copped a little bit of interference, but he's able to put it onto the backboard, but it won't be a good enough opportunity for his teammates to capitalize on. So the ball just hangs in the corner for the moment. As so we get to the final 30 here, Marky, waiting for the chance to go through. Blitz now sets it up, gets it to Mars, who puts it on the backboard, flips away, gets it to Salmon Boy, but he sends it straight down the line to Arena. Easy clear for him here. And this could be the chance that Over Newton wants to take out the game one here. Marky just waiting to pounce here in the corner. He actually loses control of the ball here. Might just be no time is all but guaranteed. Salmon Boy puts it on the post, but not the net. Time now runs right here in two extras. But it'll eventually hit the ground and well, overtime in game one.
Yeah, overtime indeed, and it's a bit of a tense one here as the game nearly thrown away by this orange side early. They've brought it back with some healthy fashion here, but uh, Marky is going to set this one up, and they have been on the uh, rise again for most of the match now. They have as Blitz. He once again puts it on the post. Good shot, but just unfortunate not to uh, get it in between the uh, pole on the ground. But now, that's a good setup there. The fence just misses the ball, and Marky will break through to get the first game here for Over Newton. 6 to 5 in OT, but really, Over Newton scored about four, goal, oh, four more goals overall it's just into their own net. Yeah, and I mean, as much as it's a, a win for them, really not the way you want to see it. It's a, it's a bad look for school in general when you come in and have that kind of sportsmanship on display. It's not the way we want to see these kind of games played out, and um, uh, they'll be looking to take this one, next one a lot more cleanly, I think, if they, if they want to do themselves justice here. Yeah, it indeed. Uh I mean, it's not really, it's not really much else you can say. I mean, yeah, they are the better team, but uh, yeah, the way they just got the victory, uh, definitely uh, wasn't the uh, definitely wasn't the best way of doing it. Let's just put it like that. So, second game now for us here in this series. Let's see if they can make it a two, or or will Yarra Valley be able to fight back and bring us into a decider? When you look at the uh, Meta HSC scene, or all the high schools, you know, they do match up very differently, and there are quite often blowouts um, uh, due to these big team differences in skill, but that doesn't mean that these teams aren't here to play, and they're definitely here to learn. When you play the way you did in first uh, game as Over Newton, you take away that ability for the other team to learn properly, and that's going to be a big thing. You don't want to disrespect your opponents like that, because one day, you never know, these players may come back in a big way. They may push through, get tons of hours here, and really, really give you a challenge in the future, and you don't want to be on their bad books when that happens. Yeah, indeed. I do I just want to note that Mark, he just said in a text chat that he was having problems with his controller, so that could be a reason why as well, but yeah, just generally, you always want to play fairly just to give your opponents opportunity. Arena gets a well-placed goal there, just set up well by Major, as we look at the replay here, and that was just beautiful teamwork there. Major just getting out of the way at the perfect time gives Arena pretty much full clearance to send it on in. He had and nice line to put it through the defenders as well. And, well, nice goal there. OACC gets the opener again. Yeah, great uh, goal there out of Arena as well. He was one of the lower scoring members. Mateja being the big Ooh. scoring carry. That's going to come off the back of the defense to be a very quick goal at the end there. 97k an hour coming off of a relatively slow shot. It's just unfortunate positioning. Sam Boy did try and get in there at the same time as Blitz, and uh, the interference between each other has just thrown them off that little bit. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Marky just placed it actually in a good spot to at least set up for his team, but he didn't need to have to. He somehow finds his opponent's roof, and well, if he was having control issues in the first game, they have definitely been resolved now. As it's... Well, he's definitely improved a lot from what we saw in the opening middle or so in the first games. So yeah, it's looking oh. very good for, for him right now, as he might get a 30 arena. He actually gets bumped by a teammate, nearly works out, but they will eventually clear it out here. Yarra Valley just into the corner. Yeah, now that could have been an interesting play as uh, Overton tries to set up again. They actually went for an aerial pinch play there as Arena is going to take it to his own backboard. He may accidentally own goal, but it's going to come off that crossbar and go wide. A good save. Yeah, he's been able to get the clip the clear there just and now he's going to try and set up a play for himself gets it to major who will get a pass halfway line here he's trying some nice control will he send it in no he won't but he sets up for marky he sends it a bit high though can he get the touch down no he can't blitz will come in from underneath to get the save here now mars will be able to push it into the middle third but we'll find marky but marky loses control will allow mars to put it onto the backboard but Nice recovery there from Marky. He really picks up on the backboard. Gets it to Major, but it will be a bit of a fake there. Marky looking to try and pop it up. But 
Garo Valley, they are reading the plays well here. They're really stifling the attacks of the past minute or so from their opponents. And yeah, this is some nice improvement here from Yarrow Valley, really showing that they can uh, put it up to their opponents at the moment. Yeah, I mean, while no goals are on board, they have been able to defend well, particularly in that midfield area, and shut down a lot of uh, attempts at setups for those big plays out of the Overnewton uh, squad. But it's going to get taken away from them. And it, now it's Yarra Valley again with the ball as it does go center. Marky is under it. Mask will get a small touchdown. A little bit awkward, but Mateja jumps over the top. Marky up now looking for that backboard. Here he comes looking to touch it down. Almost gets the angle, but it's going to go back behind him. Yeah, just slips behind and, well, that's just another goal lost for him at the moment. But let's see if they can recover now. Arena puts onto the backboard, drops it down to Marky, but... He's just unable to get the final touch there. Now Major goes up. He'll wind it to it to himself, but, well, he's unable to keep control. Marky comes through, but it was a bit of contested possession between the teammates there. So we'll allow Masters to bring it to the midfield. Blitz has to pick it up again, though. He gets a pass Major, but Arena, well positioned there to keep that attack going here. Marky flying from nowhere, but it's a bit too narrow on that shot. It hits an inside post, and it goes away from the net here. Major now... He's going to do it again. He goes up to the backboard. It's a nice touch. Who's in the center? Arena. He can't get it through. Marky trying for a low play, but Blitz. Well, red there. Not being baited out. He stays low and gets a save. Matea tries to get that into the center to continue the pressure, but it does get forced back to their own corner. Now, a chase up by a defender, but Marky does get it over. Comes to the backboard. There's a double commit onto that ball there. Now, finally an opportunity for a goal, but will it get away from this blue side? Yarra Valley cheating up on this now, getting under it, looking for that center. A little bit of a bump. Opportunity now as it goes center. Again, a fake out of Arena will actually allow it to just float across the front of the goal, but the attack continues. Now, maybe the pressure let up just a little too much as Marky brings it back down the other side. And that's probably going to be the game as well. They've been able to keep it at the net for so long, and they finally break through to get the third as well. Through the hands of Marky there, who's been much improved in the second game. Well, the second half of the first game as well. And well, he's been getting the goals, and, well, that will probably seal out the series here. Two to nothing to ICC. Just 17 seconds, more seconds to go, and, well, you just can't see Yarra Valley making a, uh, a comeback here. Yeah, and it is a uh, it's a pretty brutal game coming out here um, from these boys. They've had that first game a bit of a rocky start for one reason or another, and a huge amount of goals out of that game as well. Uh, but um, you know we've got to pick somebody here as a uh, as a um, player to choose, and I think we're gonna go here with uh, one particular player. He actually didn't score in this last round, but he was the huge carry in the first one. Definitely has the mechanical ability. I think we're going to pick Mateo. Yeah, Mateo for MVP here. Yeah, that first game performance was pretty darn good. He was a bit more quiet in the second game, but he was, more, he was put more into a third man role, and he did it, qu did it quite well. So yeah, Mateo will pick up the uh, MVP for that game as Overnew to now go to six wins for only one loss in the uh, Vic Tasmanian brackets. And well, doesn't put them that far away from securing their spots in playoffs. It will still be tight for them, but this is putting them in a very, very good spot to do. So I would yep. make it to the regional finals. Absolutely. I'll just call out the uh, stats there for Mateo as well. Didn't get any goals in this game. Did get three in the first and five shots in each. So ten shots all up. A uh, great performance out of him. Uh, of course, Marky actually stepping up. If he really had those uh, that issue going on to keyboard and mouse for part of that first match, he stepped up by the end of it, uh, coming out with two goals, three assists and five shots. So Marky really uh, doing quite a good job there as well. But an overwhelming performance out of that orange side in general there. And uh, yeah, over Newton Anglican Community College uh, will go through as they uh, really dominate that one. Yeah, indeed. And as I said, they now go to 6-1 and one for, the, for their record. But uh, the Arrow Valley cracked egg, it's going to be uh, a 4-3 and three record for them now. So, uh, yeah. yeah, their playoffs chances are probably, well, they're not looking too good at the moment.
Yeah, a rough one for them, but a good effort and a good learning experience nonetheless. So uh, as we move forward, uh, we will be going for a bit of a break. It will be a little bit of a long one. Hang around, though, because we've got more matches. I believe the next one will be at... Uh, 6.30? No, we have a 5.30 game now. We have a 5.30 game. So, no, actually, a smaller break than normal. So we will see you very shortly. <laughs>